Imagine wanting to see faster results on your keto journey, but finding yourself lost in a sea of conflicting information and potential frustrations. You're not alone. It's a common struggle, especially when you're starting out. The internet is brimming with advice, some of it helpful, some of it not so much. It's like trying to find your way through a dense forest with no compass. You're trying to cut through the confusion to find clear, accurate guidance on the keto diet, but it's not always easy. You're probably familiar with some of the common frustrations. Maybe you're not losing weight as quickly as you'd like. Or perhaps you're struggling to figure out the right balance of fats, proteins, and carbs. Maybe you're dealing with the dreaded keto flu, or you're just plain tired of eating eggs for breakfast every single day. And let's not even get started on the conflicting advice about whether or not you should be eating dairy or sweeteners on a keto diet. Then, there's the abundance of misinformation. There are so many myths and misconceptions about the keto diet, it's enough to make your head spin. Is keto just a fad? Is it dangerous? Can you really eat all the butter you want? It's enough to make anyone feel overwhelmed, but fear not, this video will guide you on a realistic and sustainable path to weight loss on keto. To understand how to lose weight quickly on a keto diet, we first need to grasp the basics of ketosis. So, what is ketosis exactly? Simply put, it's a metabolic state where your body, in the absence of enough carbohydrates, starts burning fat for fuel. This produces molecules called ketones which the body uses for energy. This switch from using glucose to ketones is the cornerstone of the ketogenic or keto diet. Now you may have heard some misconceptions about this process. Some people think that being in a state of ketosis is harmful. But in reality, ketosis is a natural metabolic state. And when managed correctly, it can be a safe and effective way to lose weight. That being said, it's always important to consult with a healthcare professional before starting any new diet regimen. Understanding your body composition is also key to setting realistic weight loss goals. Each person's body is unique, and the rate at which you lose weight will depend on factors like your age, sex, activity level, and overall health. So don't compare your journey to anyone else's. Focus on your own progress and celebrate every step you take towards your goal. Equally important to understanding ketosis is knowing about macronutrients. In a keto diet, your intake will consist mainly of fats with moderate protein and low carbohydrates. It's crucial to find the right balance for you which might be different from someone else's. Fats will be your main energy source, but that doesn't mean loading up on unhealthy fats. Think avocados, nuts, seeds, and olive oil. Protein is important for muscle maintenance and repair, and carbohydrates, while limited, should come from nutrient-dense vegetables. Remember, success on keto is not just about the scale, but also about non-scale victories like improved energy, better sleep, and increased focus. So, as you embark on this keto journey, keep these basics in mind, and you'll be on your way to a healthier you. Now that we understand the basics, let's dive into what you should be eating on a keto diet. The keto diet isn't just about cutting carbs, it's about fueling your body with high-quality nutritious foods. Let's start with fats, the cornerstone of the keto diet. They're not all created equal, so it's crucial to make healthy choices. Opt for monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats like those found in avocados, olives, and fatty fish like salmon. These will help to keep your heart healthy while you're in ketosis. Next, proteins. While it's important to include protein in your diet, it's essential not to overdo it. Too much protein can kick you out of ketosis. Stick to lean cuts of meat, poultry, and fish, along with eggs and cheese. And remember to always pair protein with healthy fats to stay in line with your keto ratios. Now let's talk about vegetables. Yes, you can and should eat vegetables on a keto diet. The key is to choose low-carb veggies. Think leafy greens, zucchini, bell peppers, and broccoli. These veggies are not only low in carbs, but they're also packed with essential vitamins and minerals. Now what about meals and snacks? Well, the possibilities are endless. How about a spinach and feta omelet for breakfast? Or a grilled chicken salad with a generous drizzle of olive oil for lunch? For dinner, why not try a pan-seared salmon with a side of sautéed spinach? And if you're hungry in between meals, reach for a handful of nuts or a slice of cheese. Hydration is another critical aspect of the keto diet. Drinking plenty of water helps to keep your body functioning optimally. You can also enjoy unsweetened tea and black coffee, but be mindful of your caffeine intake. Lastly, let's talk about mindful eating. It's easy to get caught up in the numbers on keto the macros, the carbs, the ketones, but it's important not to lose sight of the bigger picture. Listen to your body, eat when you're hungry, stop when you're full, be present and enjoy your food. This will not only help you stick to your keto diet, but it will also make the experience much more enjoyable. 
Remember, mindful eating is key to making conscious food choices on keto. Weight loss on keto is not just about what you eat, but also about your lifestyle habits. In this journey towards sustainable weight loss, it's essential to understand that our habits beyond the plate are just as important. Let's delve into some key areas that can significantly enhance your keto journey. Firstly, let's talk about sleep. You've probably heard the phrase, sleep is the healer of all wounds. Well, it's not far from the truth. Adequate sleep plays a pivotal role in regulating hormones and optimizing weight loss on a keto diet. It's during those precious hours of rest that our bodies recharge and prepare for the next day. So, ensure you're catching enough 40 winks every night. Next up, we have stress management. Stress can be a real party pooper when it comes to weight loss. High stress levels can increase the production of cortisol, a hormone that can hinder your weight loss efforts. But don't worry, there are various techniques to manage stress. You could try meditation, yoga, or even journaling. Find an activity that helps you unwind and incorporate it into your daily routine. Now let's discuss physical activity. Regular exercise is a key component in any weight loss plan, and it's no different with keto. Exercise not only helps to burn calories but also improves your mood and energy levels. Don't worry about running a marathon or lifting heavy weights, unless that's your thing. Find an activity you enjoy, whether it's walking, dancing, or even gardening. The goal is to move your body, keep it fun, and make it a habit. Lastly, don't underestimate the power of community. Embarking on a keto journey can be challenging, and having a supportive community can make a world of difference. Whether it's an online forum, a local group, or even a friend who's also on keto, having someone to share experiences, victories, and challenges with can be incredibly motivating. To sum it up, remember that every journey is unique. Your keto journey will be shaped by your choices, your preferences, and your habits. So find what works best for you and remember your keto journey is unique. Staying on track with your keto diet can be a challenge, especially when you hit a weight loss plateau or experience cravings. But don't worry, you're not alone. Most of us will face these hurdles at some point on our keto journey. The trick is to keep going, keep adjusting, and remember why you started this journey in the first place. When you hit a weight loss plateau, it can be disheartening. You've been doing everything right, but the scale just won't budge. This is a common occurrence, and it's important to remember that it's just a plateau, not a dead end. To overcome this, try varying your food intake, adjusting your macronutrient ratios, or introducing new forms of exercise. Small changes can often kickstart your body back into ketosis and get that scale moving again. Now let's talk about cravings. They can strike at any time and have the power to derail your best intentions, but they don't have to define your keto journey. When a craving hits, Try reaching for a keto-friendly snack or drink, like a handful of nuts or a glass of water with a squeeze of fresh lemon. You can also try distraction techniques, such as taking a walk or calling a friend. And remember, it's okay to have a treat once in a while, moderation is key, and a small indulgence can sometimes help keep you on track in the long run. Remember, patience and adjustments are key to overcoming these challenges. In conclusion, your keto journey is unique and should be tailored to your needs and lifestyle. This diet isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. In fact, it's not about fitting into anything. It's about carving out a path that suits you, your body, and your lifestyle. So, remember everything you've learned from this guide, digest it, reflect on it, and then apply it in a way that works best for you. It's all about balance and finding what fits seamlessly into your life. The keto diet is a tool, not a rule. Think about your body composition, your lifestyle, and your personal needs. What works for one person may not work for another. It's not a race, it's not a competition, it's a journey. Your journey. Remember you're on your own unique journey. Embrace it and here's to your success on keto.